How's it going, everybody? So today we're just going to do a little unboxing. Um, I have, have a bunch of stuff piling up here over the last couple days, so I figured I'd better take it out. First and foremost is this. Uh, a bunch of you guys asked me to check out those really cheap Chinese condenser mics on Amazon. I think this one was about $30 Canadian. It wasn't very much. It's made by New Weir, I believe. Um, they've made a couple of my LED lights as well. Um, heard some pretty mixed things about them. I hear they, they could be pretty good. I hear the electronics in these things are absolute garbage. Um, we'll pull it out of the box and see what we get anyway. This would be similar to uh, a few other microphones I'm seeing on the market just uh, without the quality control and the, the California quality control. Ah, here's here's a terrible, terrible mic, Kayla. Yeah, let's go quarter inch. Actually, you know what? That might actually be useful. I'm gonna hang on to that. That might be good for plugging into my camera, believe it or not. That might be really cool. Let's take a look here. What else do we get? Well, it looks like we get a windscreen and a thread adapter for uh, European style mic stands. And here's the mic itself. Genuine gold tone. Pretty light. Can we, uh, can we pull this off? Oh, I'm almost afraid this thing's gonna fall apart on me. Let's take a look, see what we get here. And just, wow, that's some real basic electronics there that's for sure <laughs> wow they went all out didn't they i don't even know if we can see the mic capsule is there a mic capsule in there can't tell but uh holy shit yeah they uh they really cheaped out on the, on the electronics on that that's for sure it looks like a couple of really tiny integrated circuits and a couple of capacitors that's about it so yeah generally Integrated circuits aren't the best at uh, getting great audio sound. And so I definitely question the wisdom of that. But hey, you know, time will tell. You know, this might be kind of cool. We shall see. But I mean, like for 30 bucks, what do you want? You know, I figured, hey, at least uh, the shock mount should be good. And yeah, that actually seems like a pretty decent shock mount. So, hey, okay, so I got a shock mount. That's pretty cool. And see how that fits. Not bad. So the mic might be crap, but hey, you know what? The cable and the shock mount might be decent. So there you go. All right, guys. So I got the new ear hooked up. Uh, like I said, this is the $30 mic off Amazon. A lot of you guys were asking about, um, especially after I did the Samson DK707 demo. And um, I got to say, I'm pretty underwhelmed by this microphone. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tr start tracking down a few condenser mics that are under a hundred bucks and uh, just start comparing them because this is got to be one of the worst microphones I've ever heard. Yeah, I get it's only 30 bucks, but still that's just fucking awful. Uh, next. Yeah. Okay. So what we got here for way of comparison is this is my studio projects C4 mic. It's definitely a far, far superior mic to this fucking hunk of shit. Um, we just had a snowstorm the other day, so it's going to be a few days before uh, this mic can meet the hammer of truth, but rest assured, it is definitely going to get the living shit smacked out of it because um, I can't recommend anybody buy this. Uh, save your $30 and put it towards buying a better mic. All right, next up, got this from Wilkinson Audio the other day. Oh, yeah, these are SM57 stencils. Ah, yes. So I was talking about that. What the fuck is this? Okay, you have to hold your 57 in place while you paint it, perhaps? Maybe? Uh, I have no fucking clue. Uh, it's... What the fuck is that? I'll have to ask Alex what that is. But yes, here are a couple. I talked with Alex about uh, doing these up. And these are alternative 57 grills and they're supposed to clean up the sound considerably. Alex 3D printed these and he asked me if I wanted to change up the colors. I'm like, hell yeah, why not? That'll uh, at least make them easy to identify from a distance. So there you go, Christmas colors. Can't wait to put these into uh, full rotation because those, those will be really cool. I've got a couple of 57s kicking around. Again, got an awesome deal at Sweetwater on those. And from the guys at Sweetwater, this is the true tuner. I really didn't, I didn't realize it was this much, this freaking big. No wonder why it costs so much to ship.
And I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out because we've got to do uh, the Tom skin demo, demo for Aquaria and we've got a bunch of uh, different Tom heads we're gonna try out. And the idea behind this is to just be able to hook this up to your drum, give it a few cranks and you're done. That's basically it. This is uh, no quicker way to change and seat your heads properly than True Tuner. Interesting. Really looking forward to trying this out. Works with sizes 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Changes drum heads in about a minute. Produces near perfect tension at and any any drummer, any level drummer can use it. Um, so yeah, even your drummer might be able to use it. That's pretty cool. It's a loot crate. Okay, I have no idea what this theme is. That looks like a shirt of some kind. Ooh, bleach. Oh, okay, that's kind of fucking cool, actually. Lounge pants. Okay, I'm totally wearing these. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, Loot Crate. That is freaking amazing. Those are. Let's. I gotta take a look at these because these look pretty good. These look damn comfortable. Oh, though that's all right. That's amazing. Look at that. Okay, those are gonna be comf comfy as hell. Yep. I like. Yeah, these are great. The, my wife is going to absolutely hate these. Uh, thank you, Loot Crate. That's that's freaking awesome. Okay, so that's a wall scroll. I thought that was a pair of nunchucks for a second. Okay, good, because those are illegal in Canada. <laughs> uh, so what do we got here? Yes, we get the Sword Art Online Progressive Manga. Um, very cool. I, like I said, I really enjoyed the, the anime to that. Berserk Sword Letter Opener. Really? Oh, okay. Mine, I need that. I've never actually watched Berserk, so yeah, I will try that out. How fucking cool is this? Okay. That is fucking awesome. Look at that. Yeah, I'm totally using that. That's great. You can actually poke somebody's eye out with that. Be careful. That is hilarious. That's amazing. Okay. You may blade charm. I'll give that to the wife because that's really not my thing. Uh, yeah. Here, that'll give that to my niece. She'll like that. The wall scroll, again, I've never watched Gintama, not yet. I've heard some good things about it, so I need to. And again, the lounge plants, pants are unbelievable. Yes, thank you so much. Um, so there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much for watching this unboxing. Just, you know, a little bit of fun before we get to the serious stuff. Gotta admit, I was kind of impressed with that loot crate, but I really want to try out that True Tuner. I'm gonna probably gonna get to that right now. It looks like a lot of fun. I will see you guys in a couple of days. We're gonna have some more reviews coming out this week. And uh, of course, viewers comments on Friday. I will see you then. Thank you so much for your support. By the way, the channel just hit 175,000 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to have an announcement uh, coming up real soon because I'm going to be doing a very special giveaway at 200,000 subscribers. You guys are not going to want to miss that. Thanks again for all your support. I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.